The next pattern in the Simplifying Conditional Expression series is called Replace Conditional with Polymorphism. The motivation here is that you have a conditional that chooses different behavior depending on the type of an object, and you want to move each leg of the conditional to an overriding method on a subclass. Now we've seen this example before, and we used this pattern as part of a previous pattern, but we didn't walk through the mechanics of this particular pattern, which we'll do now. So you may recognize this example where we have an employee object with a few fields that describe that object, and then it has a method on it with a switch statement in multiple cases, depending on the type of the employee would change what that method returns. And that type itself has an abstract superclass with multiple subclasses. And so, since this getPayAmount method depends entirely on that employee type, we're going to move it to that employee type. So the first thing we'll do is simply copy the method. And this new version of the method will need an employee object passed into it. It doesn't need to explicitly reference its own members. Now that it's been copied over to that, this method can simply delegate to the new method. So this would be an opportune time to recompile and run all of our tests to make sure everything still works. And then one at a time, we can move each of these cases into an overridden method on a subclass. So first let's make this virtual. And now here we can override that. So at this point any of our tests or code coverage tools should tell us that this statement is never reached. So what we're going to do here is sort of a placeholder is just throw an exception. A more specific exception or a custom exception might be more appropriate here or even here or any of the exceptions we have in these videos but for now this will do just fine. Now let's go ahead and override the next one. And finally, we'll override the last one. And so now, every case on this virtual method should never be reached. This virtual method should, method should really never be called at all. And so we'll change it from virtual to abstract. And that's it. Now we've gotten rid of the conditional entirely and replaced it with a polymorphism approach. That's it for replace conditional with polymorphism. Thanks for watching.